soon as we start the tour, you'll notice that there is a window that shows up that's talking about how you could either go down to this um, eye icon here and uh, learn a little bit about how to navigate the tour, or you can directly jump into the tour by clicking on one of these uh, locations. So if you wanted to learn a little bit more about how to navigate, uh, this is uh, some examples of what you might find in the tour. If you see a silhouette like this, this is the narrator. You can look around uh, using your mouse. Uh, it's a 360 tour, so you can look uh, 360 degrees. Uh, if you look, see an icon like this, you can find more information about that, that spot. So it might be a pop-up. Uh, it might be a link to another uh, you know, website. If you would like to go between 360 images, you can click on one of these arrow buttons. Uh, and wherever you're uh, positioned in the map, you can see over here. So if I were to move between th this spot using uh, this arrow and go to this one, uh, you would, it would uh, indicate that in the minimap over here. So the red buttons are for drone images and the blue buttons are for ground, uh, ground images. And if you want to go up to the higher up uh, level, you can also go back using this back button. We also have some audio files that you might want to listen to while you're walking around uh, the, the site. And if you want to go back to that main map that we were looking at, uh, you can always look, uh, click on the uh, memory map, go back to memory map button. So this is our memory map, map and you can see here uh, we have um, some text explaining why uh, these eight sites are important for our tour. Shkirtova is the first one that we have uh, on the list, uh, so I will click on that one. Sorry, my internet is a little slow. Uh, but as you can see, this is our minimap. And uh, I will click on the first uh, position uh, location here. So this is our higher level information about Shikirotava um, uh, train station. And you have some information over here. So we'll click on the first uh, location here. And it will bring me to my uh, first 360 image. So this is our ground level, and uh, this is our mini map. So you can zoom out of here, or uh, you know, drag around and look around in the map here. And as you can see, we have a radar over here. So that's showing me which direction I'm looking at. This silhouette is our narrator. So if I click on it, we're now standing at Shirvatava railway station. From early 20th century, this was Riga's freight train yard and train repair workshop. This was the destination where arrived all the trains with deportees from Germany, Austria, and Czech Republic. This location was chosen because it was rather far from the city, some 10 kilometers from the center, and it was located in a not very densely populated area. Uh, so um, you can continue on listening to the narrator, uh, but if you would like to move on to the next spot, you can either use one of these arrows to go to the next 360 image, or you can click on directly on the minimap uh, and navigate between this, the, the points. So here we're uh, seeing our uh, the narr narrator that we saw earlier, but we also see some hotspots here. So if I hover on top of one of these icons, you'll notice that it's highlighting this shape over here. So this is one of the um, monuments. And here uh, we have a little pop-up window that comes up uh, describing uh, what the uh, importance of the, uh, the train station uh, during, this, uh, during this time. If I look around here, um, the next uh, location I want to go into is this um, in front of the train station. Positions me right in front of there. So if I want to keep on walking over here, uh, as you noticed, it's jumping from this blue one to this blue one. That's because those are on level, uh, ground level. Uh, but if I wanted to go up and see a higher level uh, image, oop, actually not click on it properly uh, then you can also click on that and it will uh, show you uh, a bird's eye view taken with a drone if I wanted to go back to the higher level and go back to my memory map uh, we can go back to the higher level uh, 
image. And the next site I want to show you is Beginning Forest. So here we have uh, the Beginning Forest Memorial and I will click on the first location here. Wait for my items to load. Look around, we can zoom in and take a closer look uh, into the woods. We have a narrator here. Vichyneki Forest was also the place where most of the prisoners of Jungfrenhof camp were killed. So um, as you can walk around here, again, you can jump between the, the points. Uh, you can also just click on um, you know, these points here or use the, the arrow key. So uh, while you're looking around uh, and walking around in the tour, uh, you might want to listen to some of the interesting uh, historical uh, audio recordings that uh, we have. So, In the months before the Dunamunda action, Nearly all inmates at Jungfernhof were forced to work in the camp. According to Bernard Kolb, Jews were the cooks and Jews were the stove fitters, masons, carpenters, tailors, shoemakers, and more. He remembers, little by little, different work teams were formed and distributed to the necessary places. He was forced to address the rising number of dying deportees. He writes, the deaths 20 dead on average every day posed a serious problem. 